This is a 2012 guide to the digital display market. To give some perspective, we need to go back to see how media was traded online from the very start. Back then, there was an advertiser, or an agency representing an advertiser, who would buy ad space on a website. The website owner was known as a publisher. The buying and selling of ad space was initially just direct. This ad space was appropriately named inventory. The currency which was created from this inventory was impressions. The advertiser, or agency, bought impressions in the thousands. They then created the ads and filled the space. As time went on, publishers began to create thousands of web pages which led to millions and billions of unsold inventory. This gave rise to a new set of companies called the Ad Network. The Ad Network acted as a sales representative or broker, buying unsold or remnant inventory from the publisher. They applied technology, aggregated the audiences and sold packaged inventory on to the buyer, making it easier for them to target who they wanted. Barriers to entry for the ad networks were relatively low, and after some time an issue arose. There were lots of ad networks. In fact, hundreds of competing business models that were trading inventory in different ways. This made it hard for everyone, as they had to deal with lots of different companies looking for the best price to buy and sell their inventory. It also meant that advertisers could be buying the same audience more than once. There was a desperate need for more efficiency, which gave rise to a brand new business model called the Ad Exchange. The Ad Exchange created an opportunity for the buyers and sellers to trade audiences rather than inventory in the thousands. Sellers would make their audiences available on the platform. Buyers could then pick their audience and bid on them. The winner of the bid could now have their ad in front of the right audience at the right time. So. Impressions could now be bought in two ways. The ad network, where it was aggregated and packaged up, and the ad exchange, where there was the opportunity to buy a specific audience. Both buy and sell side saw a massive opportunity here to increase efficiency and use technology to help the process of buying and selling. Some agencies created their own proprietary agency trading desk or invested in demand side platforms which gave them the ability to trade on the ad exchange efficiently and in real time, using data to influence their decision making. So, that's the buy side. What about the sell side? Some publishers sold directly on the exchange. Others invested in a group of companies called sell side platforms, which optimize the selling points for the publisher. The promise of this new workflow is exciting, but let's not forget about the ad network. The ad networks are still a convenient way to buy and sell media. If anything, there's now a new opportunity for them to buy and sell on the ad exchange, leveraging their offering. These systems work with data. The more advertising that is bought through these platforms, the more data is gathered and the more intelligent the systems will become. It's an exciting time. As a marketer, it's important to figure out where you fit and what data you can leverage to take advantage of real-time advertising.